Hello dear students, welcome to my channel. Uh, tomorrow you have your exam, it is on 2nd March. So you all are going to face your science exam. Am I right? So now I am here to explain some strategies or like uh, some tips I am going to share with you all which you can apply in the examination hall. Now I know maximum of your preparing. Okay, let it be today you need to prepare. Tomorrow at morning uh, 10.30 your exam it is going to start. Uh, so few things you need to maintain in the examination hall to get it the good score in science above than 70 any heart any way you will get it you target you set the target to get about 70 out of 50 so few things I'm going to explain please listen at first you will get uh, section A section B C D and E in section A you will get 20 MCQs. In section B, you will get 20, question number 21 to 26, there will be 2 marks question. From question number 27 to 33, there will be 3 marks question. From question number 34 to 36, there will be 5 marks question. From question number 37 to 39, there will be 4 marks question. First, you need to uh, see the question at first. I know, definitely you are going to see. After that, you need to uh, start. If you are going to listen my suggestion, you need to start from the section D, which is Kush. Which one will carry five books? There will be a three question you will get one, two, and three. You set the target that out of 50 here, anyhow, at any cost, my marks it will be a 50. Out of 15, it will be 50. Now you start from section D. After section D, you have to start from section A or E or B. See, maintain the sequence. After section D, you start A, then B, then C, then E. No problem. But if you got three common, three common questions if you are getting from section D, you start with section D. Clear? Now, few things you need to maintain. Number one, definitely we are going to get uh, diagrams from the physics and biology. So draw it carefully. Draw, draw it carefully uh, when you are erasing or when you are drawing. Please do draw it carefully because uh, examiners they will if your diagram it will be okay then you will get it and leveling the definitely must uh, you need to do it and another one thing when you, are, you have done any mistake suppose i have written i am the best suppose you have done any mistake suppose don't cut like this okay you cut just this is the way you need to cut and show yourself okay and first thing, section D, if everything you got common, one, two, three, these three questions, if you got common, then you start from section D, then you maintain the sequence A, B, C, E. And most important thing is that you are getting a 32 MCQs from where? From section A and section E. Section E, section from section A, you will get 20. And from section E, four marks, three questions you will get, which will carry 12 marks. This 32 mark out of 80 only for mcqs you are getting so <coughs> focus on that 32 because from that 32 you are getting 30 plus definitely your total mark it will be a 70 or 79 plus out of it and total together it will be like 95 or above the 90 so you first focus to section d you do it complete it proper way and what like from uh, 34 number question which is from section d 34, you need to write point words, okay, point words, don't write, don't write like a stranger or it is like a pair, point words, because see, when we are going to check or suppose evaluators, they are going to check the papers, they are definitely, they are going to see first your handwriting, then, then handwriting, okay, let it be, but then your, how you have represented your copy to that evaluator, that is must you need to follow. Okay, 34 one number you need to point wise you need to write because there will be a step on it like, like half, half, one, one, two. Like this, see, there will be a point two plus one, three plus four, five. Like this way you need to write question wise you need to write it point wise. Question wise you need to write as a point. Don't do it like it is a paragraph. Okay, after that one number, then you write two number, then suppose uh, three number, you have no knowledge for that three number. Now, don't go like from section uh, D, directly after writing of the two question, you move to section A. Don't go like this. In, wherever in which group you are, suppose you are in section D. You are in section D, remember, section D, one, two, three. Suppose three number, you have no knowledge for that three number, so skip it. Just keep the place, then you move with the section A. Suppose wherever you started the section B, 21 number question you know how to write, 22, 23, no, 20, for that 23 number questions you have no knowledge, 
no issue but you need to keep the place after that you need to fulfill that okay so my suggestion is that wherever in which group you are but complete that section then you move to another section if you have no answer if you have uh, suppose you have no nothing in your brain like suppose uh, sir i don't know what to do so skip it okay give the uh, keep the place and then move to the next one and and i said already regarding the diagram mcqs you must have to follow the mcqs because mcq ultimately mcq is the lifeline for all, each and every students you know that and then you start with section b if everything is common then you move a b c d and another one most important thing when you are going to solve the new molecules definitely you will get it from physics you will get it new molecules do it carefully suppose you don't know you have no knowledge regarding that how to do but you know suppose we we are going to apply suppose 1 by v plus 1 by u is equal to 1 by f that formula suppose you know that suppose if one uh, solution one question it is came from mirror so you need to write this formula okay or lens you need to write this type of formula okay somewhere plus somewhere minus whatever it is but after that if you have written at least this formula also you will get it in marks because there will be a division there will be a division in mark so and no knowledge regarding that any type of answer do one thing just write after all after the finishing of the exam just write something at least what you have knowledge because throughout the year you have done a lot now so what it is there in your brain you need to write it okay at least write some points examiners if out of four points if one point also is correct you will get it two marks or one marks like this i have no knowledge regarding that solve how to solve it how to solve this question but i know so maybe that mirror or lens formula it will be like this so you just utilize that you will get it the marks neat and clean the copy don't cut like this you need to cut if it is you have done mistakes maintain the sequence maintain the section and uh, while you are drawing the while you are uh, going to draw the diagram neat and clean diagram you need to draw and don't skip most important thing is don't skip if you have no answer related anything no knowledge but at least you need to mention something what it is useful to get in the marks that are the things you need to maintain in, in the examination hall maintain the time uh because time is important issue in the uh, science exam you need to maintain the time uh, suppose uh, section b for section a you just adjust the time how to solve it okay uh, and suppose if suppose if question paper is too much hard suppose that it's very hard don't get it panic in the examination hall because you know that complete throughout the one year you have done lot of studies and lot of hard work so utilize okay as much as you write it don't skip anything okay mcq is the lifeline remember it mcq must have to get in the out of 32 you must have to go for 30 31 32 as much as you can and then if question paper is too hard like sir it is very difficult for us then at least what it complete answer although it cannot be but at least what you have knowledge you need to write it regarding that and this type of question also is will not be there like everything is sir very difficult no only one or two or three questions you will get don't skip uh whole day today it is remaining you just keep up and uh, as much as continue and in the examination hall you no need to be nervous or no need to be panic you know throughout the year you have done a lot of hard work so that are the tips for tomorrow you must have to maintain don't be panic in the examination hall i hope you will get the success hope for best for tomorrow thank you very much